Can we all admit that Bardock is one of the absolute best DBZ characters and probably in a bunch of people's top five? And he made the power of friendship in anime actually mean something. While not quite the perfect, brilliant masterpiece I remember it to be, Bardock the Father of Goku is still amazing. But admitting that is kind of important for me as I used to fiercely defend this one with everything like it was the most perfect thing ever made. However, it's still really darn great, and I wish it was still canon. It's been superseded by Dragon Ball Super Broly. This one really helps to make Goku's backstory feel different from Superman since they're so similar in so many ways. At only like 48 or 52 minutes or something like that, I wish the runtime allowed more exploration of the unique world building and characterization of Bardock and his fellow Saiyans. This is about all we have of that in their time on Planet Vegeta, and while I dig it, it just makes me want more. And also, this one's canon to the anime because it has the same design that is shown in the flashback of Bardock in the anime. But still, while all too brisk, it's a tragic, moving story about desperation, fatherhood, goodness, and the predestination paradox. Bardock isn't necessarily a good guy, which makes him an interesting character. But the trauma and knowledge he faces here change him dramatically, and he ends up dying to save something instead of destroying it. And the new Broly movie picks up that thread by saying it directly. These themes resonate strongly more often than other DBZ films, and because of this, the emotion hits hard at the end and makes it so memorable. Bardock's bandana he took from his friends, floating his face as he says goodbye to Goku, moves me to tears, knowing that Goku will be the one to avenge them. It also sets up the intriguing idea that Goku kept some of these telepathic abilities in foresight as he uses them in DBZ for at least communication. The fights are good, Again, just wish there were a little bit more of them. At times, I think this actually would have been a fantastic standalone, like 13 to 14 episode anime series on its own. The 90s voice acting hasn't aged as well as I'd hoped either. This is a television special, so maybe it was rushed more, but I still enjoy the heck out of it, obviously. I also just respect the fact that they focus on story for once instead of just some mindless action. And this one has a lot to say about not just the problematic nature of Saiyans, but also their enormous hearts, their capacity for care for each other. It was really cool to share this with my wife as her introduction to Dragon Ball anything. Did anyone else notice that Goku's extreme cries are explained by the visions? And maybe that's why it triggers Broly so bad? Wild. I give Bardock the father of Goku 4.5 out of 5 stars. A lot of nostalgia with this one. Bardock's awesome. Like, subscribe, comment your favorite. What do you like? Do you like Bardock? You probably do. And remember, always look for the good.